Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holla at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? Who we got next? Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time again. Hi, Paul Mash. And we appreciate you uh, joining us. And we've been getting more words of encouragement. We've had tell people telling us, you know, that uh, I do a good job uh, for independent artists. And uh, we love hearing that. So if you'd like to send your own uh, comments to us, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at pmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're an, a solo artist or a band, you can email, use that same email address. And uh, we love to hear from you. And uh, if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to inbox us, like the post, um, even comment on the interviews that you see and so forth. We'd love to hear from you then. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and you'll get all the latest interviews, uh, whatever they become available. And if you missed any of that, don't worry about it. There's a closing credit at the end of the screen, so it'll give you enough time uh, at the end of the show, excuse me, and you'll get a chance to get a pad of paper and a pen or whatever and write all that down so we hope to hear from you there from kensington maryland in just a moment uh, we'll interview natalie jean very talented singer as always and we know that you'll love that uh, interview and song that's coming up so we'll get to that in just a moment but first here's a quick word from click jam don't go away <laughs> Does anyone know where Lou is? Anyone? Uh. Let's jam. Well, it's that time again for an interview, and with us from Kensington, Maryland, we have Natalie Jean. Thanks for joining us, Natalie. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, uh, we're glad to have you. Um, uh, one question I like to ask a lot is uh, uh, I like to know exactly how you decided to become a musician. I mean, uh, when was the moment you decided that? I mean, everybody has their own story. Let's hear your story. Well, about 10 years ago, I was living in New York City, and... I used to write a lot of poetry, but my poetry was based on a lot of the experiences I was going through in life, you know, because I'm a person that suffers from depression from time to time. So the poetry writing really helped me. And one day, my father's a singer, so my father and my mother were like, well, why don't you take some of the poetry that you've written, turn them into songs, and let's try to do some kind of demo. And so I decided to release three songs that my father helped me with, but... You know, in my household, growing up as a child, um, my father used to play at different gigs all the time, and then his brothers and sisters used to live in my house. And I mean, this was like a musical family. My my cousin's a music producer. My uncles are into music. My aunt used to be an all female band in Haiti. So it's just something that's in my system. But however, when I was little, I didn't think I would be in music. I love to dance. I actually wanted to be a lawyer. And I diverted. And then when I moved to New York, it was just something clicked in me to want to do music. So I did the demo. And then I let the, just the demo lay low. I didn't even 
do anything with the demo because I was still going through some things in life. And then I moved back to Maryland and I started thinking about the demo. And so I decided to uh, uh, go on the internet and look at different places where I could submit my music to and then found Tate Music Group and I submitted my music to them and they accepted it. And then we released my first album, which was Obsession. Um, but I had to leave Tate Music Group because they weren't really doing what they were supposed to. And now they're, I think they filed bankruptcy, embezzlement and all this stuff. So um, that's how it all started. And so since I've been doing things on my own, um, I really push, I become obsessive with it. And I really go on the internet. I, I research a bunch of different sites that you can upload your music to, you know, how to create music videos, the whole social media aspect. And so here I am with music and my fifth album. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good story there, Natalie. Uh, I enjoyed hearing that. Um, so why don't, why don't you tell me a little bit about your influences? I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, singers that influence you in your singing career. So I start at, started out with jazz. I love jazz. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was little, I used to watch Sanford and Son, and Lena right. Horn was on uh, Sanford and Son, and she sang one, you know, Stormy Weather, and I just fell in love with jazz. And I was like, oh, my God, it would be so great to be a jazz singer. So uh, she's my influence, um, Etta James, you know, Ella Fitzgerald. And on the, the pop side, I really love Celine Dion. And I also love uh, Nina Simone. So those people are the people that, that I follow a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are pretty good ones right there, especially Ella Fitzgerald. I mean, you can't get wrong with that. So. No, you can't. No, you um, can't. So why don't you tell me about your music now? Uh, do you have any albums? Uh, can you get that on digital format, you know, et cetera? Uh, maybe you could talk about that a little bit with us. So, yeah, so I am a very versatile artist. So I started out with jazz and blues, mm -hmm. then I went into the pop, then I went into pop dance, and then I did a world album. Um, so I, my first album is called Obsession. It's, it's a pop jazz uh, fusion album. The second album is a jazz album. It's self-titled with my name, Natalie Jean. The third album is a French pop dance album. The fourth album is a pop English album. And the fifth album is a world album because my family's from Haiti. So that, that entire album is um, Haitian Creole. And so, yeah, you can find my music anywhere. Um, you can be at Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. You can just Google the music, Amazon.com, Google Play. I'm all over the place. Um, you know, it's exciting. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm sure that we'll be able to, you know, get that music, and I, I know you enjoy it. And uh, again, speaking of music, uh, we're getting ready to watch a music video from you in just a moment. Uh, can you tell us the title of it and if there's a story behind that? So uh, this song was written um, by Michael Peloso, and I'm a co-writer to the song. And it's actually a song that we did I think we wrote it, we did it together in 2014, and we just uh, decided to release it. And it's basically about a relationship and, and knowing what you've lost and what you've found. Sometimes you're lost, and then somebody comes into your life, and then you, be, you become found. You know, you're, you're, you're renewed, so to speak. So it's about how uh, people can tend to come to your lives and affect it. Mm. Okay. And uh, what is the title of this song again? Lost and Found. Lost and Found. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll watch that in just a second, but I think uh, that's about all I really need for now, Natalie Jean. And we want to thank you again for stopping by and talk to us about your music. We loved having you, and uh, we'd love to have you again sometime. All right. Thank you. I'd love to come out again sometime. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. here's uh, Lost and Found by Natalie Jean here on Palm Mash TV. Don't go away. The moon has always known its place in line. Its fate written before the stars ever shined forever is reflecting in your eyes. The sun goes down and you lay gently.
And I drink 